Hi, I'm Sherman Gomberg. I'm from the U.S., California, in Los Angeles. So I like to start off with Agile as being something that's beautiful and graceful. Think of a dance, a ballet, something like that. It's really beautiful. And I like to contradict that with the word scrum, which is truly disruptive, messy, muddy. We don't know what's going to happen, but we try different things. And out of that, we get something beautiful. So Agile allows something beautiful and graceful out of using Scrum, which gives you a disruptive messy. Fell in love with Agile, passionate about it, and really what I love about it is how it brings people together so they can do disruptive things and they can truly change the world. Sounds like a high nebulous goal, but when you start with a small group that can do that, they really do. One small thing at a time creates more larger things at a time. And, uh, and that's where Agile comes in, creates a lot of beauty out of that. A little bit what I've seen in American Agile is they want to move faster. And there often is resistance to change. People get very comfortable with what they've been doing. Where in America it's embraced faster is with a lot of the startup type companies, entrepreneurial companies, Silicon Valley companies. Those do it really well. Um, they don't even know they're doing Agile, it's just the mindset of what comes out of universities. Students are used to working together. A uh, little bit of some of my observations in Europe is there's a little bit more rigidity, uh, even than I see in the U.S., especially in California, where we're a little faster. So it's so a little bit more rigidity, and this is how we've been doing things. And it works for us, so that change is hard to do at a large scale. Uh, where you're seeing it in Europe, is when products are starting to fail. Their product life cycle is tailing to the end. And when organizations and executives and leaders see that, they need to tail that off and either start a new product or realize we need to reinvigorate the product in a new way. I don't know if there is good or bad Agile, uh, really just getting people to do it. So the bad Agile is really when people aren't doing it at all. They're, they don't want to do it, they're just saying, we're not going to change. I like to look at the items in the Agile Manifesto, embracing change, working with people, uh, staying away from some of the process, don't rely on all the documentation or contracts, but work and talk and collaborate and work with your customers and relationships. If people are doing that, they can do a lot of really cool things. 